Hey guys, recently I decided to buy my first real mic. Rode is go-to brand, so of course I went for it. And uh, these two turned out to be my best candidates. And I wasn't sure which one to choose. So I decided to buy both of these and uh, make a video for you guys. If you find yourself in the same situation as I am. And uh, let's find out whether the extra money for XCM50 buys you extra sound or it is just marketing or something else. So let's put XCM50 aside for a moment and let's take a look at NT-USB mini first. As you can see, I'm doing commentary in post-production so you can hear both mics, how they sound. They are exactly same distance from me and uh, it's about 15 centimeters and uh, you can hear for yourself that there is no much difference actually. I suspect they have same microphone hardware inside. So enjoy quick unboxing of both products. There's few accessories coming with NT-USB mini. There's USB cable, which is USB-A on computer side and USB-C on the microphone side. It's about one and a half, maybe two meters long. And uh, there is the microphone, there is adapter for microphone mounting. There is no adapter for regular camera mount. So you have to buy another adapter from the back side. There is Jack and type C port. Jack is actually pass through. So you can hear your computer audio mixed with a preview of what microphone hears, which is quite nice because you put microphone closer to you and you can have your headphones plugged in. There is also one button. It's only for one click. There is no hold gesture or something else. And you can rotate it to uh, ramp up the volume or... And uh, there is no gain control on the mic, so you can only control volume. There is also detachable magnetic stand, which has only one position. So if you want to rotate it, you have to rotate the whole thing. And uh, there is sort of rubbery material, it, so it won't slip. But I suspect it won't be able to, to somewhat absorb any vibrations from the table. So maybe in the future you, you want to mount it on an on a arm. So let's take a look at XCM50 real quick. It has slightly larger package. It looks more like gamer or streamer oriented, <laughs> let's say. And uh, there is much longer cable, which is type C on both sides. There is also different stand. It's a tripod. It's quite plasticky, but it's not the cheap one. It's actually quite nice. And uh, what I found out later, you can unscrew the bottom part where the legs are and there is a regular uh, camera mount so you can use the top part with the ball uh, with the microphone and mount it on a, some arm or some tripod you have already at home which is nice because I don't see myself using the tripod on the table so using at least half <laughs> of the accessory is better than using nothing. And there is the microphone. It has also nice packaging, so you can return it if you want to. The only difference I see is colors. They, they are both quite heavy, but it feels that they weigh pretty much the same. So I suspect they have the same hardware. They say it's a condenser mic with probably single microphone unit. There are teardown videos you can see for yourself and uh, both work pretty much the same out of the box. You plug your headphones in, you plug it into computer and uh, they should be having different applications for them. So you can see for yourself in a later part in, of the video, but I think the sound is the main thing you came for. So enjoy. There is also one more accessory that is a jack extender, which is quite nice. And the rest of package is just paperwork. All right, guys, for the finishing part of this video comparison, I'm going to show you 
road unify app which is the app for the higher end microphone or uh, xcm50 this app supports the anti-series microphones which you can see here so if you have one you can add another anti-series microphones and work with them they have just uh, less settings available compared to xcm series but uh, if they serve you well you can just buy a bunch of these and do your podcast or streamings with these uh, i don't know whether this app is still paid at this time but uh, when they released it it was paid if you don't have one of these microphones but as it's for me i just downloaded it had have this plugged in installed it and it worked out of the box so no problems there and uh, this app basically works like a giant mixer so you can decide what sort of uh, categories of audio gets into your recording or stream by by tapping this mute or unmute button and you can also uh, click on listen listen means you can hear it in your uh, headphones i had already plugged my headphones in this microphone but i don't hear myself talking because this listen button isn't enabled so if i tap it i can hear myself talking that's the only thing and if you have other applications like games music or anything you can still hear them but they won't get into your stream or into a recording if they are muted if they are listen you can hear it in your headphones but uh, they won't get into recording nice things a uh, nice thing about this app is also it can do multi-channel recording so actually when you stop recording and export it uh, each of these categories will have its own separate folder and you get uh, each recording each channel separately so you can take one of one uh, channel from this mic one channel from other mic and mix it as you wish and uh, if you have some sound coming from the game or music or chat you can actually delete that track and keep only the ones you want which is very nice and this is basically it uh, the road connect application is not recognizing X xcm50 but you have no reason to use uh, inferior application because you can actually use this one and uh, plug lower end microphones to it as well which is very nice so thank you for watching this is actually the thing i mentioned that you can attach the tripod upper part of the tripod to basic basic arm which is designed mostly for cameras or something like that and uh, I can give you also some taste of how this microphone sound when I tap on a keyboard real quick. This is how they pick up the noise, but the keyboard is in front of them. So it's, it's reasonable to assume that they will pick up most of the sound. And uh, this time they are slightly more distanced from me than I had them uh, when I did a post-production commentary so you can hear some sound differences between these two right now but uh, if you if you are interested in a deeper comparison you can actually watch videos on NT or XEM from another source because in their basic state they sound pretty much the same so it's up to you whether the extra settings on the XCM50 are worth to you and that they somewhat change your voice to, for the better or they have no influence over it. I, for myself, I'm probably going to keep the XCM microphone, but I'm not going to play with these settings as much. So it's get, it won't be used as, that much, <laughs> but... Uh, Probably in the future, it might be helpful to have extra settings for some scenarios. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you get, you did get some answers to your questions.